The neck muscles are an intricate network of muscles that allow for movement, stability, and support of the head and neck. They are essential in activities such as breathing, swallowing, and maintaining posture. These muscles can be categorized into three main groups, superficial muscles, intermediate muscles, and deep muscles. Here's an overview of these groups and some of their major muscles. 1. Superficial neck muscles. These muscles are located near the surface and primarily control the gross movements of the head and neck. Sternocleidomastoid. This long and thick muscle originates from the sternum and clavicle and inserts at the mastoid process of the temporal bone just behind the ear. It helps with head rotation, lateral flexion, and neck flexion. Trapsius. This large and diamond-shaped muscle starts from the occipital bone and the upper spine, covering the back of the neck and extending to the shoulders. It assists in neck extension, scapular movement, and head posture. 2. Intermediate neck muscles. These include the suprahyoid and infrahyoid muscles, which connect the hyoid bone and aid in functions like swallowing, tongue movement, and speech. Suprahyoid muscles located above the hyoid bone. They include digastric, mylohyoid, stylohyoid, and geniohyoid muscles. These muscles help elevate the hyoid bone and tongue during swallowing and speech. Infrahyoid muscles located below the hyoid bone. They include sternohyoid, sternothyroid, thyrohyoid, and omohyoid muscles. These muscles depress the hyoid bone and are involved in movements necessary for swallowing and stabilizing the neck. 3. Deep neck muscles. These muscles lie close to the vertebrae and play a critical role in stabilizing and fine-tuning the movement of the neck and spine. Longus capitis and longus coli. These muscles run along the front of the cervical vertebrae and are involved in neck flexion and stabilizing the spine. Scalene muscles, divided into the anterior, middle, and posterior scalenes. These muscles are located on the sides of the neck, stretching from the cervical vertebrae to the first and second ribs. They help with lateral flexion and elevation of the ribs during forced breathing. Levator scapulae. This muscle extends from the upper cervical vertebrae to the scapula, helping with shoulder movement and neck stabilization.